The development of what we now call the Internet started in 1957 when the Soviet Union launched Sputnik, the first satellite beating the United States into space. The era was born. The global positioning system was opened for use by civilian aircraft. When I was three, the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded on liftoff, killing all seven astronauts on board. My best friend in second grade had a class with another little girl whose dad was in that shuttle. In 1985, CDs stole 25% of revenue from LP sales. Within a year, the Recording Industry Association of America announced that CDs had overtaken LPs in the U.S. Within two more years, the world. The World Wide Web was invented in Switzerland in 1989, but it was another three years before the browser allowed the rest of us to use it. In 94, personal computers outsold television sets for the first time in the United States. By 98, Google became the sippy cup of internet culture, thanks to its query shortstop, Wikipedia. 2003, MySpace. 2004, Facebook. 2005, YouTube. 2000, question mark, Twitter. Next came emotionally responsive toys and pollution monitor chips built into cars. 2007, the year of the pig, and our first home. As of 2008, we officially own Evident Empire Media. This year, a U.S. Department of Education study revealed that on average, online students outperformed those receiving face-to-face -face instruction. Three days before I gathered this information, I registered for my first two online college courses. Today, 80% of companies use LinkedIn as a primary tool to find their employees. And by the end of 2010, thousands of scientists working together are projecting to find the God particle allowing physicists to explain, finally, why particles have mass. And last night, I ate a brownie and found this online. Ready? Go. The development of what we now... The de <laughs> yes, we finally, the elusive man, we cut it on tape. <laughs> oh no! Copyright 2009.